Hello class, you are welcome to this class. My name is Ibrahim Nasu and I'll be taking you on the topic titled Drug Abuse. Okay, so by the end of this class, you should be able to define a drug and drug abuse. You should be able to mention the symptoms of drug abuse. You should be able to list the causes of drug, lastly, ways to keep drug abuse. All right, so what is a drug? introduction it is a chemical substance that has a non-biological effect on humans and other animals it also be seen as a substance other than those required for the maintenance of normal health which when taken into living organism may modify one or more functions all right so what is drug abuse it is the continued misuse of drugs it can also be seen as an illegal, wrong, and excessive use of drugs and other substances, right? So, what are the symptoms of drug abuse? Number one is family sign and symptoms. And this in include exhibiting lackadaisical attitude towards laws and parents, sneaking to unusual secret places, isolation from family members, and hiding in the room ETC. Secondly, we have physical signs and symptoms. These include frequent minor illness such as sluggishness, frequent naps, smelling of marijuana, alcohol, and mentos. The number three is social signs and symptoms. Over popularity and excessive greeting in a noisy way with friends. Breaking of rules and regulation. These are the signs of social signs and symptoms. Are the signs of drug abuse. Okay. Then we have school signs and symptoms. These include fighting with teachers and students, bullying, junior students, sleeping in class, hating and avoiding schools, and many others. Then last but not least, we have emotional signs and symptoms. This include talking to oneself repeatedly, smiling to oneself, laughing to oneself, traces of insanity, violent acts like stabbing and breaking bottles. These are all symptoms of drug abuse, all right? So, what are the methods of drug use? This is called drug delivery, all right? The most common methods of drug delivery include mouth or injection, no injection. And we know that some drug we use, put it in our mouth and swallow. So, and we have nasal or memorial, that's inhalation, like cocaine, they inhale cocaine. We have smoking, like tobacco, or marijuana, they smoke them, have injection. They can also inject cocaine and we have tattooing. So these are the methods of drug use. Okay. So we move on. What are the common ways of misusing drugs? Some people misuse drugs ignorantly while others do so by the profession. They have chosen a life, e.g. athletes and wrestlers. So on the list we have addiction secondly we have self injective and we have overdose and overeating we have abduction and kidnapping so what is addiction addiction this is recurring compulsion by an individual to engage in an activity that is difficult to discontinue once the individual has commenced the activity and self-injective this is seen in athletes that indulge in self-injecting of drugs in order to improve their performances and it is called doping then we have overdose and overeating this is mostly by mistake a patient may ingest more tablets of prescribed drugs in order to quicken recovery yes we have abduction, kidnapping, and raping. Some activities such as raping, kidnapping, and abduction are done under the influence of drugs. So, what are the social risk factors in drug abuse? We have social isolation. 
broken homes, peer influence, world accusation, workplace violence, drug court, war on drugs, drugs prohibition. These are the social risk factors in drug abuse. Then how can we prevent drug abuse? So some of the ways include appropriate but harsh legislation against drug abuse. As this the responsibility of the government. They should set rules and reg regulations that will govern the use of drugs in the country. Then application of religious ethics. Now this responsibility lies on our religions. They should teach us religious ethics and we know that the major religions there's Christianity and Islam does not agree with drug abuse. So if they can teach these ethics, we'll have less cases of drug abuse. Then avoiding sharing the injections needles so as to reduce the rate of HIV and AIDS. Using drugs only as prescribed by doctors. Regular awareness campaign against drug misuse. This can be carried out by the media houses radio newspapers television internet and even public lectures yes so we have come to the end of today's class but before we go we take the summary what is a drug we said it is a chemical substance that has a non-biological effect on humans and animals we we'll also talk about the symptoms of drug abuse which includes family signs and symptoms, physical signs and symptoms, social, school and emotional signs and symptoms. Talk about the social risk factors in drug abuse, which include social isolation, broken homes, peer influence, world accusation, workplace violence, drug courts, war on drugs, and drug prohibition. All right. We have come to the end of today's class, but before we go, we take the exercise number one says what is drug what is a drug number two says name five symptoms of drug abuse number three says give four methods of drug abuse lastly mention four social factors in drug abuse thanks very much for listening i'm looking forward to see you